Now, Local 3 News begins with your forecast first. Hey there, I'm meteorologist Tom Kippen on our Local 3 radar network. We're dry, but it is showing some rain and snow across the south central UP. But most of this, if any of this, is not even reaching the ground. As we look at the winter weather advisory, this is for tomorrow evening, but we could be looking at tomorrow evening two to four inches of snow for inland areas west of Marquette. For tonight, though, clear skies, lows in the 20s. Some inland spots fall into the teens, a little bit milder, relatively speaking, near the Great Lakes. From Storm Team 3, that's your forecast first. Local 3 News at 6 starts right now. From WJMN TV, Marquette, Escanaba, this is Local 3 News at 6. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bartlemé. We begin with the latest on COVID-19 in the UP. Nagani's middle and high school students will switch to distance learning the next two weeks. Local 3's Brianna McLean has more on how the school board came to the decision. Brianna. Over the weekend, Nagani Public Schools was notified by the Marquette County Health Department that there were confirmed COVID-19 cases at its middle and high schools. Two students at our middle school and two students at our high school that tested positive for COVID-19. After doing some contact tracing, we realized that the number of students who were needing to quarantine were quite large. We made a decision based on a disruption of, of learning and face-to-face -face due to the number of students that would be quarantining. It would have been difficult for teachers to pull it off. SKU says a distance learning plan was laid out a few weeks ago in the case of an outbreak like this one. We'll start with actual Zoom classes um, beginning tomorrow. Students will attend school electronically no differently than what they would face-to-face -face, where we're going to have class periods um, set up and students will be attending via Zoom and Google Meet um, rather than face-to-face. -face. Middle and high school students will return to face-to-face -face learning on Monday, November 2nd. All extracurricular activities and athletic events are canceled through October 30th. Reporting in the studio, Brianna McLean, Local 3 News. Thank you, Brianna. And schools have strengthened their cleaning procedures because of COVID-19. Local 3's Melissa Venex tells us about one method that Barriga Area Schools is using. Superintendent Richard Sarau says cleaning requirements this year are more strict. To save time and increase sanitation, the school purchased electrostatic sprayers. We've got so much more to clean this year, so we thought the foggers would be a good idea. You can come in, you can fog the room and, and leave, right? And so not only does it do a, probably a better job than what we can do with contact services, but it also speeds up the process. The foggers are simple to use. You simply turn them on and hold the trigger. Porter Dowler, maintenance supervisor, says they use a backpack style for the buses. It's an electrostatic unit. Um, it's electrically charged, so it just puts out a really fine mist. And it's a little noisy, but that's basically how it works. So it puts a really, really fine mist out. Um, proprietary system through Victory. The solutions that they use come right from Victory. We get all that stuff from Delco. And it, it dries relatively quickly. For inside the building, a bigger unit on wheels is used for the classrooms. We use them every time we do a bus run. So if we'd have to switch you know, bu buses, um, we'd have to fog it before we went and did a second run. So they get done after every run. And then we use them in the classrooms halfway through the day and then in the evenings before class resumes. The foggers were on back order for some time and they were using spray bottles according to Dowler. The foggers speed up the process. Reporting from Barriga, I'm Melissa Venix, Local 3 News. If you need a mask to help prevent the spread of COVID-19, this Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., the United Way of Marquette County has you covered. They have 23,000 masks to hand out for free. If you don't need to do anything, just show up to the south entrance of the Peninsula Medical Center on Fair Avenue, and you should be able to drive through and get a mask. If your business, nonprofit, or school could use some of these masks, please contact the United Way office at 906-226-8171. Free flu shots are coming this week in Marquette County. The health department is hosting a drive through clinic on Thursday. From noon to 6 p.m., you could show up to the Mark Tran office on Commerce Drive. Please bring all of your insurance cards. It's cash or check only for self-pay clients. Stay in your vehicle when you get there and wear a mask. 
Now to a developing story in Marquette County. A crash on County Road 550 had tra traffic diverted this evening. This video is from around 5 o'clock p.m. along 550 near Eagles Nest Road. One car was involved in the crash, which split a utility pole in half. At least one ambulance was on scene as first responders worked to get work to free the people from the car. They weren't able to tell us how many people were inside. As of a half an hour ago, traffic was being routed onto Eagles Nest Road. Police in Sault Ste. Marie need your help after some people made themselves feel at home after hours this weekend. Police confirmed they are investigating an incident at Sioux Brewing Company on Saturday afternoon. According to the police, people entered the business, poured themselves beers and soda, and went through merchandise storage. If you know or saw anything, call 906-632-5744. If you've been getting texts from numbers you don't know, you aren't alone. The state attorney general is hoping you don't become the victim of a scam. The most recent attempts are appearing as package delivery notices from Amazon, FedEx, or other services. If you click the link in these texts, it can open doors for scammers to access your phone or trick you into entering personal information or passwords. If the message looks suspicious in any way, delete it and block the number. If you're expecting a delivery, contact the service on your own confirm. To find out how you can report scam texts, go to upmatters.com and visit this story. Still ahead on Local 3 News, our special report, why one UP man is raising funds for breast cancer research. That and more when Local 3 News continues. And we clear things out tonight and it does get cold inland. This is tomorrow evening though and you can see we got snow in parts of the western UP tomorrow night that could add on up a little bit. We'll talk about that plus some rain and wind for Thursday next. You're watching Local 3 News with Rebecca Bartlemay.